hey guys welcome to another video and here we are with another interview question which is to reverse a string in this case we are going to reverse mainframe developer via kubol and we are not going to use the built-in function function reverse so how we are doing going to do this like uh, we will use perform varying clause and then uh, the logic so here we will get started I'll delete this we will write down the kubol first start from the id division we have program id let's say we are writing pgm rvrs program reverse ok environment division environment division I believe it is not at all required to mention but it is good to have a practice to write environment division since if we write it we remember it data division under data division we will have some working storage section we will declare some variable which will be useful and in this case let's say we have our variable 1 let's say picture x of something I don't know so the value is going to be mainframe developer so I'll count it now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 no, 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 no. So I believe it is 19. I'll put 19 here. Then I'll say the output variable. I'm not going to write it into the file or a table. So I'll straight forward write a variable, output variable. Let's say in this case x of 19. We can also increase or decrease this value and pass some uh, assign some values in the procedure division but in this case I we will particularly look into this mainframe developer so I am putting it as 19 only I will use some uh, index value so let's say index value 1 like picture clause let's say 9 of 0 2 I'll assign value as 0 I'll remove this I will repeat it I'll make it second value and uh, the value is 1 I'll tell you why I have assigned it then we will have some uh, length value since we need to reverse the string so we will have to identify the length of the string so in this case the question arises you have already counted it is 19 but we have uh, to have this ws length variable to count the length because in this case we have counted it as 19 and we can hard code it but let's say if this character this string is not 19 if it is like hi i am a mainframe developer working in so and so organization at this location in this country and blah blah things and we need to reverse that string right so in that case we don't need to manually count that we just need to put some value here and put some value here and they declare just this value as zero and we will use ins instance function of the COBOL that is uh, like length of variable so we will use in procedure division okay excuse me for some typo if I make so let's say I say move length of ws where 1 to ws length so this is the statement which will move the length of this string into ws length we will use this so we will use we will say perform 
wearing so it is uh, another function in COBOL if you read about this perform wearing WS IDX one so I am uh, using index one here whose value is zero as of now we have initialized it from WS LEN so it will initialize with the value of the WS length in this case it is going to be 19 by minus 1 so on each read of the string character it will be decreased by minus 1 until WS IDX 1 equal to 0 so if I say so that means we have this index and the uh, character uh, length of this string it is 19 so uh, for the first time it will be 19 minus 1 will be 18 and as we will we are going to perform it until this value is going to be 0 so it will be first time it will be 19 and 18 then 17 like that and once it is zero the perform loop will end so we will say move ws where one and here we will make use of this index again index value one and the uh, first character which we read here to ws out and here ws will use make use of second index in this case we'll say first uh, the value of the index and we will add one to ws idx2 so here we are increasing the length of this index so for the first time it will write the value at the first place for the second time it will write the value at the second place and likewise here excuse me okay here we will say and perform and we are going to display like a string value is and here we have ws out and uh, we are going to say stop run stop run now we will try to compile this through a compiler I have a compiler here and I have already made the changes in this compiler we have the program name as pgmrvrs and I think this is successfully compiled I'll refresh it and let's say we will create jclrvrs to execute this here and immediately we will say jclrvrs job notify obviously my id so this uid i'll give here i'll say step 01 and exec program name is pgm rvrs since we have declared program name as pgm rvrs step lib in step lib we must give uh, the load lib where our program load module is defined so that value is I'll quickly copy and paste it is load lib 
and we need to see the output in session dd not session sorry sysout dd sysout equal to star and i think that is sufficient hi jcl i'll save it and i'll quickly submit it to see whether it is it is not working since it is giving some jcl error let me see so here uh, we have not given the proper sysout i think i'll try to submit it again and it is max cc 0 so we will see so we will see jcl star so this is the successful execution we can see cc is equal to 0 0 i will quickly open it and i will see we have our desired output the reverse string m a i n f r a m e space d e v e l o p e r so this is the required output we were expecting so i believe the logic of this program is very simple however we it it could be done by function reverse as well it we uh, we could have declared uh, like a curse statement here to store that value in a table we could have declared the file we could have write the output value in the file as well so if you find any difficulty to understand this logic please post your comment also if you like this video i would request you to hit a like button so that youtube algorithm will know that we are making good content Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next.